Paul wants us to differentiate uh, y equals cos 2x plus, sine, uh, plus 2 sine x and go on to find the stationary point. So let's differentiate it first. So when you differentiate a cos you get minus sine but we've got a cos 2x so I'm going to use the um, chain rule and times by the differential of this that I pretend was an x it's going to be minus 2 cos 2x. If I differentiate sine x, I just get cos x. Sorry, that should be that should say sine now. So we get minus 2 sine 2x. When I differentiate sine x, I get cos x, so I'm going to get 2 cos x. And it wants us to find a stationary point. So we, we know that the stationary points occur when this equation here equals 0. So we need to solve this equation. We can't solve this equation the way it looks at the moment because I've got a sine x and a cos a sine 2x and a cos x. They need to be the same. So I'm going to turn my sine 2x into something to do with cos. And so it would be useful if we know what sine 2x can be rewritten as. And sine 2x can be rewritten as um, 2 sine x cos x. So that's what I'm going to substitute in. I've got minus 2 times 2 sine x cos x. Now that doesn't look terribly helpful either, so let's change that to minus 4 sine x cos x. Okay. Now what is very tempting to do now is divide by cos x. That's very dangerous and can lead on to losing stationary points. So rather than dividing by a cos x, I'm going to factorise it out. I can divide by 2, that's fine. So I'm going to factorise a cos x out as well as dividing by 2. So that will give me minus 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. And now I'm in a situation where I've got two things being times together to give me zero. So either this term here is zero, or this term here is zero. Um, and if we rearrange this, that means that sine x is equal to a half. Okay, when is cos x equal to zero? Well, you can put it in on the calculator or you can draw a quick sketch. Here's 2 pi here. It's 0 at zero, at 1. Sorry, hang on. When is it 0? It's 0 here and here. So that is at uh, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. But if we look at the range of values that we want our answer between, we just want it between 0 and pi. So one answer that comes from my cos x equaling 0 is pi over 2. If we do the inverse sine of a half, which you can use your calculator for, we get pi over 6. And our other answer uh, pi over 6 would be like here so our other answer which would be before pi would be 5 pi over 6 so there is three stationary points uh, between naught and pi um, from this equation it wants to find the full coordinates so we're now going to have to go back and work out 
the full coordinates, putting them in to this equation here. But make sure you've got all three. You might not have all three if you divided by cos x. You would lose this, this um, solution here. So um, x can be pi over 6. Let's do them in order. And when x is pi over 6, y is going to be cos of 2 pi over 6 or cos of pi over 3. Just typing this in on my calculator. Plus 2 sine of pi over 6. That comes out at 3 over 2. So one coordinate is pi over 6, 3 over 2. Next one is when x is pi over 2. This one here. And that will give me that y is going to be cos of 2 pi over 2 or cos pi plus 2 sine pi over 2. Which comes out at 1. And my final one is when x is 5 pi over 6. Which comes out at 3 over 2 as well. So 5 pi over 6, 3 over 2. So those are our three final solutions.